Hello, Taris. It's time for your 2020 forecast and predictions. This is specifically for the sign of Taurus, anyway. Um, Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So I check your charts. Resonate with you? It cannot. It really doesn't matter because this is a predictive thing, right? We have no idea if this is actually going to happen. You can also change your fate at any time, so no worries, right? Right. Okay. So, you're going into, well, you're coming out of 2019 Queen of Cups style, all nettled and shit. Um, feeling like there's a lot of, like, manipulative emotional shit going down and such, right? Ooh, you got a book with these. There's some strife you're trying to come out of. Um, but it doesn't seem anything is rooted in any sort of commitment. You definitely yourself can believe it, right? Uh, everything's just kind of stagnant right now. You want a truce, but in reality, it's just keeping things from ending properly, if you will. All right, let us continue. The first quarter, my dears. Uh, you want to end the laziness. Get to work on something. Leave the shit behind it isn't working with indolences. Eight of cups. I actually had to look that up. Your second quarter. Uh, you're trying to halt failure with the seven of pentacles. Or it's a really shitty one. One of the two, right? In the third quarter, we got movement here with the princess of wands. Aries, Sag, Leo. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles down here gains of the coinage type. That's a good way of ending things out, I think. Let's see. Taurus. You're trying to leave this shit that's got you all emotional and shit behind, and you're trying to bounce back, and it seems like you do, even if you have to do it by yourself. Because the Nine of Pentacles does talk about individuality. Um, if you concentrate hard enough, that'll look like a chick with like gigantic tits that are almost as big as her head, if they are not. And she's wearing a really tight dress. Or at least that's how I'm kind of seeing it, you know? Or pretending to see it. Whichever one you... Whichever one. Anyway, let's start with your first quarter. With this, in, with this uh, Eight of Cups right here, you're leaving the ship behind. It makes you lazy. Right? Yeah, you, you're you kind of anchored in essence in this shit. Nine of coins could definitely be you. Slow to offer anything, though, as usual. But you want to anchor yourself somewhere where there is the sun. And here's Lilio. Hmm. I feel like you might want to connect to a fire sign, too, possibly. Alright, second quarter. You want to get over this failure I think that you've had in the second quarter maybe a downfall or something and you're kind of holding on your pentacles a little bit hard miser security trying to watch what you do with your shit right and you want to be not as dazed and confused as you have been within the second quarter now for this third quarter princess of wands Someone wants to move forward and, like, take some action somewhere. Whether it's impulsive or not is beside the point, though. Let's see. They are quite timid. Oh, my God. They're quite timid and shy about making that movement. Eight of Cups, once again, you know, like, they're very scared of, like, leaving it behind. Like, you want to do that because you know it's slowing you down, but at the same time, to take this adventure, um, you're very, 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 um stuck on that stuff. However, your wonder and chance, your curiosity and curiosity of, if I could talk today, thank you. Your curiosity and imagination's driving you emotionally as well. Turn that down some. It doesn't need to be that dramatic. That's probably what I was messing up in the first place. Alright. Last quarter, this nine of pentacles. Yes, you're trying to gain that independence, but there is a sorcerer magician who's not good at what he's doing, right? 
and he's not good at what he's doing because like somebody isn't dazed or confused anymore no more discretion someone ha knows how to navigate and progress themselves through everything no longer feeling tortured or crucified going boldly to a decision where they're going to be avoiding the tower of Dracor draconian and forceful um power if you will it's just like nah nigga i'll see you later like you know never mind never mind i don't want to go that way anyway Mm. Um. Oh my. I'm dropping one more on that Taurus. Because I have no idea. This uh, fucked up magician is coming out of being trapped and confined. No longer restricted. And they are no fool to what is going down, y'all. How strange. Or maybe it's like someone doesn't need to manipulate or use magic. I'm not sure, but... Mm. How are you coming in this year of the 20 and 20? The High Priestess definitely could be dealing with a water sign. But definitely could be you and your intuition is... On point, my dear, you are a necromancer and a seer. And you are seer and shit. Okay, so. This first quarter. There you are, trying to stand in your power and truth, just being like, I am the fucking law. You know, like, that's how you do, Taurus. That's how you do. Like, I know what I'm talking about. The second quarter requires a lot of strength. A lot of your strength. Nine of Wands. It's asking a lot of you, it seems like. Third quarter. We got like a really angry Queen of Wands for no reason. So who knows with that one? Um, where's my thingy? Here's my thingy. I feel like, um, Taurus, don't let your temper get in the way this third quarter, I feel like it. Or don't let somebody else's um, fiery nature get in your way, because someone might be coming up vindictive looking for a fight, sicking her kitty on you. Hint, hint, you know. Yeah, I did mention a fire. Yeah, the sun card. Leo is right there. So, um, be very careful where you're rooting yourself with this knight of coin right here and how you make yourself into the hierophant because I feel like this person could be, could give you issues because you want to explore some other shit. Like, they'll tempt your kitty, your kitty with a blaze or set you on fire or something. This last quarter, it's the tower, it's the tower. Yeah, some magician is coming back with some shit. Definitely could be Aries, of course. Just because of the simple fact that um, that's magician. That's what the magician said. That's what the magician can be sometimes, if I can talk today. I don't know what it is up with your reading, but apparently there's something up with it, right? But the magician wants your ass now. And I'm joking, I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, like, the tower didn't happen for him before. Also, the tower, someone informed me that it is Scorpio, Aries, Mars energy. Which was really helpful. Thank you to whoever did that. So you could be dealing with any sort of fire sign right here. Two cards for how you're leaving. 2020. The end of 2020. Um, This magician. Because this is my magician card. I should put the other two in there. And then just name them something different. Because they're all different personalities, but they belong in this deck. Damn it. Yeah, that's what I should do. But, um, this magician... Reversed, you know? They might run themselves into ruin. Or that's their plan for you. So you be fucking careful. But, that's your predictions for, um... 2020, man.
Good luck to that ass. I'll see you guys later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.